Why is London Vision Clinic on the forefront of refractive surgery? It's like because as soon as hyperopic corneal treatments without a flap are available, we're doing it. I started London Vision Clinic with my business partner Craig Engelfried in 2002 and we've uh, you know had uh, 22 years of growing and and expanding and helping people see we try harder than anything to make sure that the patient experience is flawless okay perfect and now you can take a seat back that's all done now hi all right Take a seat here. Okay, good. So, so with LASIK, from the top, it looks like this. And with SMILE, it's a tiny little incision like that. So the advantage here is that there's no moving parts. Okay, good. So we'll I and maybe two other people on the planet have been involved in extending the range of hyperopic treatments on the cornea. And I've written practically a PhD on this. In fact, Tim Archer, my research manager, this was part of his PhD, including all the scientific elements that we worked on to make hyperopic treatments, even up to plus six, plus 650, you know, safe and effective. So the first challenge is to get the ophthalmic community to understand that the past experience with poor outcomes with hyperopia are the past, and that some of us have not stopped doing hyperopic treatments, and we've only actually improved them. We now have the release of Smile for Hyperopia on the Bismax 800. Yes, it's the first device in the world to do lenticular extraction for hyperopia. After it being violently objected to by the very companies who are now comping it, right? Um, because Smile has a buzz and because people were not considering hyperopic treatments on the cornea with their older technologies, this is an opportunity for people to get a fresh look at it. And that's kind of the progression, and it'll happen again with hyperopia. I really hope yeah. that it will, because one thing that, that, that saddens me, actually, is when surgeons offer a lens replacement in a patient without a cataract who is young and who is within range of corneal treatment. It's not adjustable, except by laser, in which case, why don't you start with laser? And it opens the possibility of having cataract surgery with a higher quality intraocular lens later. And you're looking in the middle there, so slowly bringing you closer. Now in the middle, you'll notice this green flashing. I'm gonna bring it nice and close, and I'm gonna make it nice and clear. If it becomes clear, you look directly at it, so right into the center of it. That's beautiful. Apart from hyperopia, the fact that we have a computer assistant guidance in docking and we also have a, an immediate metric on the screen to tell us how far we are from the visual axis you know that's that helps us instead of winging it going uh, it looks okay but rather that is 0.2 that's 200 microns okay that's fine i'm carrying it yeah so having that system and having cyclotorsion automated um, is really nice and it's certainly going to produce better outcomes for the, you know, for the general community of smile surgeons. That's perfect. Very, very good. Excellent. You could say for the, the vast majority of very patients, good. it's the same, whether you're treating myopia or hyperopia, you don't know the difference. Um, especially because the cutting speed is so fast. Now it's nine seconds or 12. Who can tell me the difference between those without looking at a watch? So that's the same. The extraction technique for hyperopia is the same as myopia. I mean, just from a, from a workflow standpoint, That's a big bright light. our surgical schedule is such that we can operate on an extra two patients per hour. 
even though the lenticle extraction itself is the same hands and the same surgical instruments. But because of the way that the device works, the workflow is much quicker. Of course, that means it's less stressful for the patient also. Beautiful. Excellent. Okay, fantastic. So that's both eyes done, everything's perfect. We're gonna put this right look down. And straight up, keep taking a picture of that. So as far as the outcomes are concerned, they're, they're excellent. And the accuracy of hyperopic corneal treatments is very similar, if not slightly more accurate than IOL surgery. Because IOL calculations in shorter eyes are less accurate. Yeah. Even better there? Yeah. Better one or two there? Uh, kind of the same. But... Good, perfect. And then looking here, better if I go to two there? Yeah. Between two and three? Three. Three or four the same? The same. Perfect. So you're exactly on the targets for day one. Yeah. Okay. Good. So everything's healed. Mm -hmm. You can see that here. If you're already doing myopic smile, doing hyperopic smile is like instead of using green paint, you use blue paint. It's the same. But what we have developed and what the application specialists have developed is a very well designed system to onboard people for the different challenges that are there for doing hyperopic smile. So that support is there and ready to go. It's a pleasure to work with Zeiss because we tend to be able to take advantages of these forefront elements, you know, first.